This is a demo of my network appliance uh, forensic toolkit that was featured in the ISSA journal of December 2012. All uh, commands start with uh, NAFT. You have uh, one for generic frame extraction, one for uh, iOS core dumps and one for uh, iOS images. I will be uh, demoing those three commands. Here I have a couple of dumps to work on from routers, from a Windows laptop and uh, from a Mac machine. And here I have a couple of images for the routers of uh, Cisco. So let's start with the generic frame extraction. This command will look into a file for IPv4 uh, frames and extract them to a PCAP file. So we will store the frames in test.pcap and I will be first of all extracting them from this um, dump. Okay, and now you can see that it extracted IPv4 packets and uh, ARP Ethernet frames. We found 230 uh, 213 frames and one packet and in total we have 194 frames inside the PCAP file. The smaller number is due to uh, the fact that um, the generic frame extraction tool will uh, eliminate duplicates. Now let's do the same for the Windows XP image. This is the main image of uh, 500 megabytes, so it takes a bit longer to analyze. bit of patience here. Take some time to look to 500 megabytes. Okay. And we have 2054 frames in the PCAP file. You can have a look at uh, that file with Wireshark. Okay. And here you can see all kinds of frames, DNS, HTTP, all packets that were found in uh, the RAM dump of that uh, Windows XP machine. The OS X uh, memory dump that I have is uh, 2 gigabytes, and you will see that this is uh, too large to load into uh, the Python interpreter here. So again the same command. Now with the Mac Mountain Lion image. Okay, and there we get the uh, malloc error. There is not enough memory to fit this file into memory. So the thing to do here is to work with buffered input. So there is an option minus B buffer that will read the file in blocks of 100 megabytes with a 1 megabyte overlap buffer. So that's what we are going to do here. Since this file of 2 gigabytes doesn't fit into memory, we use option minus B to proceed with the buffered read. And you can see here 101 megabytes was read and is now being searched through and then the next one. And this will handle the complete file. 
So let's let's uh, fast forward here. Okay, we are almost at the end here. Yeah, 184 uh, frames inside the pickup file. The second command I want to look at is specific for iOS. Uh, Cisco iOS Cordums. It's uh, to analyze Cordums from uh, Cisco iOS uh, routers. So, NAFT ICD iOS Cordums. And here you have the different commands that you can issue. There is also a command to extract frames. But this is specific for uh, iOS, it's not uh, generic. So this one knows about the structure of uh, frames inside iOS Cordums, ICD, so frames. I provide it with the Cordump and the IOMEM Cordump of the router and we store it in test.pcap that's where the output um, will be stored the frames that are extracted from memory okay and here you can see that we look into the memory for packet headers and then we extract these and uh, look for the packets in IOMEM Maybe you know the show region command that shows the, the region of memories that are mapped into uh, your iOS router. You can also issue this command with um, ICD, so regions dump. And here you have the different memory regions that are found in uh, this dump. Another command is uh, CW strings. So Cisco iOS images and Cisco iOS cordums contain um, strings that start with CW strings. And these strings contain the identification of the image. So you can run this command on a cordum like this. And then you can see which version of uh, iOS and on which device it was running. You can look into the heap. Heap. And this command will dump uh, all uh, the memory that is uh, being assigned in the heap just like you would uh, use a show command to view this here you have all the chunks in the heap now these usually have a name and you can view that name by uh, resolving minus r this will resolve the names and then you can see here the different um, chunks of the heap that have been assigned for different processes. For example, this one here is uh, for uh, SSH. You can also search into the heap. So, heap. And now I'm going to filter for all uh, chunks in the heap that contain TTY data. Okay, and uh, these here are all uh, chunks into the heap that contain TTY da data. Now you can dump the strings that are contained into those uh, 
chunks in a heap by using option minus s to dump the strings so I filter for TTY data and I, I do minus s to search for the strings and then you have all the strings that you can find in those uh, pieces of memory in the heap manager for example this one here is the password that I use to log on to this router you can also look into the memory of uh, the init process so let's filter for init I want to dump all the strings of the init uh, heap manager chunks but then I'm also going to grep and I'm going to grep for strings that contain commands so cmd like this and then you can see all kind of command messages that were issued here by this router this command also allows you to view the processes with the processes uh, command and here you have all the running processes uh, on that router when the dump uh, was made you can also view the history, the command line history Here are all the different commands in the history. Those are, for example, here you can see the command that I issued to write the core. I'll show a region command. And this command here actually come from the config file. Other interesting information you can extract from this uh, memory dump are the events. Here, different uh, events that can be sent to syslog. And last command I want to show you is uh, check text. This command will compare an iOS image stored in a file, eh, the iOS image itself it will compare it with what it finds into m in memory because the iOS image is loaded and decompressed into memory so what you find in that image file you should also find it in memory if there is a difference then it can mean two things you're not looking at the right iOS file or the iOS image has been modified in memory on the router so it has been tampered with so check text I provided a core dump now from a different router here and then I also provided an image this is uh, the image so now the command is extracting the code from the image and extracting the code from the memory dump and comparing it and we can see now that there is a small difference so 
the string the CW string uh, our equivalent it's uh, the same description so it's the same version of uh, iOS this version here but there is a small difference in the text 48 bytes are different and this is actually because the dump that I took of that router is not actually from this image but from a slightly modified image that I made so that the canary value is different so let's issue this command again but now with this version this is the actual version of iOS that was running on the router so it is extracting that code from the image and also extracting the code from the dump and comparing it strings are equivalent and now we know that the text is identical so the code in the image and the code in memory is identical it's the same and the last command I want to have a look at is uh, an EFT command to analyze Cisco iOS image files it's naft ii this is the command so you provide it an image file this one here and now it will unpack that image file and analyze it and report back uh, okay you have the CW strings and then all kinds of information like the entry point number of sections embedded MD5 and the different checksums telling us if they are identical or not You can also extract the code and you can extract it in a way that you can then load it in IDA Pro for further analysis and you do that with uh, the IDA Pro option like this. Okay, so this is the name of the image file and you can find it here and there have been a slight number of modifications made to that file so that either Pro will recognize the correct processor and uh, start to disassemble this image.